Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. Today I'm at a pond I've never even seen before. Um, just kind of randomly picked this place because it had a playset that Tommy and Nathan wanted to hang out at. And so uh, we're just going to give it a try and see what happens. Um, really small pond. Look at this. Hardly anything to it. Um, I don't have a clue what's in here other than I can see some bluegill down there. And there's a sign saying you have to release the bass and carp. Now the only reason why they would have a sign saying you have to release the carp is be if there was grass carp in here. Um, so I'm going to assume there's largemouth bass, bluegill, and grass carp. I also would be shocked if there weren't bullheads or catfish in here of some sort. So uh, we're going to kind of go and see what happens. I brought a lot of gear today and uh, I'm just going to overkill it. I It's a beautiful 85 degree day in October. so. I really don't care what happens, it's just lovely. Well, I've got two of my rods uh, out with uh, my Ponco pack bait and some fake corn. Got little hits and stuff, but that's not unusual. A lot of bluegill, I presume, but uh, we'll see if I can't get a catfish or a carp or something. Try a mulberry flavored uh, PVA bag with this uh, Rod Hutchison mulberry boilies. Gonna crush them up, put them in a PVA bag, and I'm gonna wing it out there and see what happens. All right, I got this mesh bag that's made out of PVA. It dissolves in water. So just hook it on like this. And when that hits the water, it'll dissolve the bag and leave all the bait. It's made out of like cornstarch, I believe. There's a ton of these little bluegills right there. Look at that. Well, if the carp don't bite, I'll pull out my uh, my poles here and maybe I'll catch a bunch of bluegill. There we go. What's on there? Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. Well, there we go, another little bullhead. And I think this is a black bullhead. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not good at my bullhead identification, but uh, not too shabby. Well, if you guys want to see me do a bullhead catch and cook, hit that like button and uh, I'll do a video on how to catch and cook bullheads. Well, I just ran into a local guy who told me that the grass carp hide out along the cattails off there to the right. And uh, so I think I'm going to pull up at least one rod and put it on a bank stick out there around the corner and turn the volume up real loud and see if I can't catch something over there. How about you, Jacob? You want to catch a fish? Here. Daddy. Tommy, get the net! It's, it's a carp! It's a carp! <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Nathan, congratulations, that's your very first grass carp. Well, that's a fun little surprise. Hey. That's the smallest grass carp i ever seen. Here, push him in. Ah! <laughs> High five, buddy. Good job. Gotta tell you, a little local advice goes a long way. That was a nice little fish. Well, I'm just getting constant hits on the boilies. Just ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da, like that. Bullheads out there just monkeying with it. They've got such strong little jaws that they can crush those boilies and get them off the hair rig, which is really annoying. There we go. Nice little bullhead. Well, there you go. My, my classic panko jello corn bait caught another carp. It works just about everywhere. And boilies are really great, but they catch a lot of catfish. I mean, that's pretty much been my experience most places. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick little video of me exploring a place I've never fished before. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and check out our playlist. We have all of our videos organized by playlist. So you can see all the how to catch carp videos, all the how to catch uh, catfish videos, all the bait videos, rig tying videos, product review videos. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.